Night in games. Yes. Yes. All right. So we got some basic ones. All right. So say you have this position. This one can be kind of deceptive because you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, I should win. It's easy. But the way in which you win it is is important here because just like in the previous video we were looking at with the bishop and, and pawn, when, anytime it's a rook pawn, it's always more difficult. So say if knight c6 check, he's going in the corner. Well, do we want to stalemate him? Nah, so we play knight d4. Now, if you go a7, this is actually now a draw. No, he just goes here. He can't take the knight. When you go here, how can you ever make progress? This king's just going to go back and forth. And if you ever move your king up, it's stalemate. So this is how easy it is to mess up some like trivially winning positions. So knight d4. And you want to get him to the point to where he looks like he's about to stalemate. But you get it to where the knight is controlling the corner square. We make our queen. We win easy. But the point of me showing you that is, again, just like the wrong rook pawn square for the bishop trying to win if you've got knight and pawn versus king it's easy to mess up so take your time to one not stalemate and two to make sure you're playing it right and if your bishop's on the board it's going to be tolerant okay so here's some situations that we need to know like this and this one's kind of stupid so I may have to turn the engine on just to make sure I'm doing it right is this a win or a draw? Black's pawn is going this way. That way, sorry. Are we talking about the engine? It's probably uh -huh. a draw, but it's win. I think. Win? For black? I think it's win for black. I think black is win. Okay, let's see. Where Where does your king go? G3? No, G2. No, G2, but... Oh, it's white to move. Okay, white to move. Now what? Oh, you push the pawn. You push the pawn, yeah. Check keys. Check keys. And if he goes here, if we go here. So, can you see how deceptive this type of endgame is? Because it looks like it's just an easy win, but you have tactical tricks in order to sack the knight for the pawn. And just to double check, 0, 0.00. So easy a caveman can do it. Okay. If it was a win, the engine would see it. This is not, like, heavy lifting for the engine. Okay? So do we understand the pattern that from this position, I mean, king b7, you can dance the dance. Do you want the dance? Check. No. And if he goes, say, like, you say king f2? All right, well, I'm going knight g3. King f3. Oh, right here, king f3? No, when you, oh, g3. When you're there, you're going to king Okay, you're, you're like saying a lot of words and you're not making any sense. So, we got to start, okay, so king g2, knight, knight g4. Now king f3, king g3. That's where we put him. Then knight e3. And king f3. I'm going to go knight f1. King f2 now. We get back to the starting position. Yeah, it's, he's just going full circle. All right, we got it now? Good, good. Okay. I didn't look at this one, so I have no idea. <laughs> um, survey says, if it's in my examples, typically it means it's a draw. But uh, it's got to, first move's got to be something like this. So let's see if you guys can figure it out. Knight c7, okay. Well, I guess I got to do this. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, right? <laughs> and just to double check, oh, we missed something. Yeah, it says White's plus seven here, so this is a forced win. So let's see if you guys can figure it out. Well, that's because you saw the engine, but can you follow it up? Okay, knight of four. E6? We've already been there. G6? Okay. Knight E7, I'll just ignore. But can a knight control both f8 and f7 at the same time? Apparently. <laughs> it's all about triangulation. Because if your knight's controlling one of the squares and his king can't move to the other, his king's got to move away and our king gets out. That's how you, you solve this one. Uh huh. What? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Take a spot. <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll go back to the beginning. King f seven. No, you want to have your knight attacking the square that's king, so you don't need. Like then you get the win. Uh huh. Restart again. Restart. You want to? No, king. No, you can't. Yeah, he's he's trapped. I mean, it's a good thought. <laughs> that's what we're trying to do. All right, so. B6. All right. And you're starting to understand the trick. It's we want our knight here when his king's up there. Yep. Or or there. Mm -hmm. Or there. It's just check. It's check. It's like... um, wait. Don't get on screen, Ben. <laughs> Knight could be super knight. Yeah, it'd be nice. E5, it's just checking him again. Do you know how to do it? I haven't. I, like, I'm listening to you guys. No, because you. No, it has to be. It has to be night. No, have a box or no there. Oh my god. Oh wait, no. Go back. Go back. Go back to where the night Oh my gosh, Jackson. Then. Oh. 
Says this a win? Chess is hard. It just figured it out. <laughs> oh my God. So, do you guys understand my point about the engine and the horizon effect? Yeah, I got caught in the horizon effect. It sees you having the extra pawn. It's like, oh, it's a queen. Yeah, yep, this is done, baby. But that was the reason I let this go so long was to show, and because I honestly didn't know, <laughs> but. Do you see how the engine isn't exactly useful in some of these positions? It's super nice. All right, next. All right, what's the only way to try to win this one when you got the white? And this is, in fact, a win. Be your knight to d7 or a knight to c6. Blocking the bishop. Yeah, his king is boxed out, so I'm not not too concerned. I think he's in box. What's pro What's the best path? Knight e7. Knight e5 and a knight. Because you know, as soon as you move your knight, he's gonna he's gonna sink right there. Knight before. Knight before. Yep. Yes. All right. I want you guys to actually think because there's a couple paths with the knight. You guys are too used to just making moves without understanding the consequences because it may make the difference between winning and drawing the very first move. So take your time. And the last position is kind of important because there's some variations where when you take his bishop on a8, his king will go to c8, and then we're in the exact same situation we were in <laughs> in the last position. So keep that in mind when you're calculating. Shut up, Ben. You did not calculate at all. You did not. Don't give me that crap. All right. All right, I will bet right now that you didn't calculate. Let's see. Some, yes. All right, see, the story's changing. All right, I got I got a hundred that says you are wrong. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. That's that's what I was taught. When you believe that somebody else is full of it, you bet. <laughs> All right. So, nice C5 was the first one I calculated, too. Bishop A8. If king b8, then I was looking at that move. Knight a6? Oh my god. Knight a6? Knight a6? I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, too many, too many words. Alright, one at a time, yeah. Then as soon as you go here, I'm going to go do something. Are you bullied? Sure. Are you bullied? <laughs> and that's why we spent so long on the last one. Okay. So this is a a win. I, I know 100% because it says Horowitz win. 
I wish I wish I'd analyzed these in depth in advance, but I didn't. So you know, we're gonna have to figure it out as we go. That was that's part of the fun of doing these types of positions. Knight f two. Come on. <laughs> All right, we're going going with Ben's knight b four. All right, bishop a eight. What you got after that, Ben? Um, knight c six. Okay, knight c six. Let's wow. say. Uh, King E8? King C8. C8? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was the, um, spell. That, that was his first answer. You know, I got 100 bucks. Knight B8. Just go along with it. Go along with it. Knight B8. No, hey, hey, hey. We need to go. So Knight A6 is going to die. Knight A6? Yes. No progress. Oh, yeah, because you guys can't get their eyes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, King C8, King C8. Uh, Knight C7. Knight C7. You're a C7. You look like a He's going to take the pawn. Correct. But much? Alright, um. Whoa. Yeah, Ben ends up being right, isn't it? Alright, let's ask him. Knight c6 check. Knight a5. King c8. Knight c4. King b8. And what's the problem with king d8 here? Uh, knight d6, that's why. You're controlling one of the key squares. So when his king goes here, we go knight b7, and the point is his, his king can't get to the key square. So on king c6 now, king c7, knight c5. What about king c8? Knight a6, key square. And then he got it. So I have no idea how I can explain that to you where you'll get it. Night in games are hard. I got three moves right. Sorry. All right. I got three moves. Here's another one. I did calculate. So, pawn is going to a7. Can we win? No. No, he's got to go to a7 first. I mean, what I say. King C5, and we have the same type of pattern that we saw before. Hundred percent draw. All right. This this is a fun one because you think that just because the knight's far away, the knight can cover a large amount of ground in a short time period. Believe it or not, sometimes. So push. <laughs> All right, here's another great one. And he just dances around the pawn. Right? Repeats the pattern. Okay, here's one of my favorite ones ever. And I think this one comes out of uh, Silman's complete in-game course. He had this as an extra problem. You go check. You let the guy stalemate himself, and you win with just a knight. <laughs> Knights are good. No other piece could do that. All right. In the next video, we're going to be hitting on the king and queen stuff. That was the knights. Knights are hard. Oh, my God.